tethering of data and the analysis of data has authoritarianism contained within its DNA. Um, it is by its nature a tool for authoritarianism, uh, and it has been used. How does big data look into our lives? James covered it for the pre-crisis press. We're starting to see the merger of private data, and that would data held by the state into what are called social credit systems. This is where every aspect of your behavior is monitored and totted up by a central system to sort of score you as a person, a bit like a credit card, but predicated on all of your behavior rather than just uh, the money you're spending. And this can have a profound impact. We're starting to see systems emerge which will punish you and stop you from doing things in society based on your behaviours. And this could be as trivial as if you jaywalk, if you cross the road in the wrong place, you might lose points. If you uh, do some community activities uh, or help your neighbours, you might earn points. And, and then this can be used to sort of evaluate you as a person. And this could mean, for example, better travel privileges, being able to travel first class or being denied from travelling first class to not being allowed to travel at all. Uh, these systems are very real and very possible because of all the data that has now held on us. So if your ears are burning and you think someone might be watching you, you're probably right. They're watching all of us. I'm Tash and you've been listening to Buckingham. Keep listening, keep sharing the show and keep it encrypted. They're watching us, but we're watching you too. You're listening to The Bar. Michael's nausea, vomiting and headaches. Hello Britain, this is The Bug, the show that holds up a mirror to the world and smashes itself in the head with it in despair. I'm Andy, joining me, as always, uh, Alice and... Uh, I deny everything. <laughs> it's just a good state of existence. Some good news at last. There are no medicine shortages, according to the government, none at all. There have been various allegations about that. It turns out they are all fake news, trademark. There are none, there are no shortages of medicine. Don't take it from me, I'm not a medical supplier. Edward, take it. <laughs> from our beloved government, it's fine. In fact, I'm going to read between the lines here and actually say there, there's probably... There's, there's too much medicine, if anything. Just medicines... Medicine... Can't...